Welcome back to another OnlineDrummer.com Monday Drum Lesson. I'm excited about this week. It's a fun thing. It's uh, slamming, flamming accent. And it's actually two pages. you got a worksheet with it, and then, uh, I mean, yeah. you got a worksheet with it, and then the regular notation. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. Also, check out our Facebook, facebook.com slash online drummer. And if you like playing along with songs, check out onlinedrummer.com, our sheet music section. We've got tons of sheet music. You can search by band, genre, um, title, and everything. All right, let's get started. We'll start with the foundational groove. This is the flam accent. And a lot of times when you think of a flam accent or rudiments, you think of a practice pad and sitting there and... Why am I doing this? Yeah, that can be boring, but I want to show you how to take that and actually apply it to something useful to you. So just to go over the sticking of the flam accent real quickly, you've got a right flam, that's when your left stick is about two inches from the top of the head, your right stick's up, and the left stick's going to hit just slightly before the flam, or the regular stroke. You don't want this to sound like two separate strokes. That's not a flam. Together they're going to make one sound. So you've got a right flam, right, left, right. Then you set up for the left flam. Your right stick is about two inches from the head and your left stick is up. And same thing, just drop right before it. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Now for the foundational groove here, um, I put a bass drum with every right stroke, right flam or right stroke. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. All right, moving it around the kit, now it's time to take it from the single surface and move it on to some other things. The, and all this one does is move from the, uh, the right stick from the snare head over to the hi-hat. And they're at triplets. One and a two and a three and a four and a... All right, now that was still pretty boring, but let me show it to you in the context of a drum fill. It's almost hard to figure out. It's just a flam accent, but it's, it creates this really unique, weird sounding pattern. So it's kind of cool. It throws people off. They're like, whoa, that was sweet. What is it? Another thing to do is to move it onto a tom. It creates a larger sounding fill. So in this case, I'm just moving the right stick over to the high tom. Number three gets the left stick on the high tom, and the right stick goes back and forth between the crash and the snare. So, um, just back and forth. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. I'll play that in a fill situation. Number four keeps the left stick on the high tom, and the right stick goes before, uh, between the middle and the snare. So twice through on the toms, then the snare. And number four, the left stick stays in the high tom, the right goes between the low tom and the snare. So you're going to have one stroke in the low tom. Number six is my favorite. Not necessarily because it sounds the best, but because it's because it's my favorite. So what we've got is the right flam hit on the tom, return back to the snare. Left flam hit on the tom, then come back to the snare. I'll 
I'll play that in a fill. On page two, uh, I gave you a worksheet, and worksheet doesn't sound like fun, uh, but it's important that you take these concepts and try to come up with your own. Be creative, create something, and I did the first one for you so you can see what it's supposed to look like, but you're going to come up with your own combinations. Just sit down and write them, and then try to learn them. So you're actually challenging yourself to play new things while developing your own style. Just to give you some examples, I'm just going to goof around uh, around the drum set using this technique. I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Make sure you come up with your own stuff. Work through that worksheet. Work through the notation. Work through. And if you want free sheet music for songs, visit OnlineDrummer.com. Keep drumming. Don't forget to subscribe and like us on Facebook.